Nothing exciting fucking ever happens to us. That cut the whole world stupid and full of stupid people who are stupid, and I fucking hate them all. See, that's it makes me mad. I'm gonna go get another cheeseburger. Hey, get me more fries with triple gravy. Oh, and another diet pop. Kevin told his mom that he was bored too, and that maybe it would be fun if they did something different for a change. Wow, look at you wanting to do family things together. Ain't that sweet. Kevin told his mom that what he meant by different was that they should give him $40 and stay the hell out of his business. Look, I don't want to bust your dreams or nothing, but the only thing I ever intended on giving you was life. And since you've already got that, then you can put a lid on it and forget getting anything else ever. Did you grow in the fuck of potatoes back there, Arthole? I can't take them out until the timer beeps and tells me when they're done. Look, shit, pot. I don't give a pig's arse about no damn beeping crap. Just hand over some goddamn fries before I smack ya. If you don't stop harassing me, sir, I'm going to call the mall security on you. Ooh, mall cop. Ooh, mall cop. I'm so scared. You leave him alone, bully. Jesus, age. Like the whole world's against me. Screw all of you, I've had it. Hey, where's my fries at? Screw the fries. Screw society. Screw everything. We're leaving it all behind. Kevin didn't much like the sounds of that, so he told the old man that if it was all the same to him, he'd just go on living in the house by himself. I don't like you any more than you like me, Kevin, but your child support is the only steady paycheck we've got. Ergo, you go where we go. Jeez, boysies, you almost sounded smart saying that. Yeah. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> Shit, that means we've got to move all this shit back into the house. Fuck it. Garbage men will get it. That's their fucking job. Besides, who cares? We're getting the hell out of this country for good. Too many of them stupid fucking dumb stupids running around doing dumb things. Fuck, they just keep pushing my button. I swear to God, one of these days... Ah! I'm going to bed. See you in the morning. Ow, ow, ow! Kevin thought it was nice of his mom to remember to bring him the milk, but he didn't bother to tell her. How's your hand? Dwelling's going down. Kevin told the old man that his hand didn't look so good and that he should probably see a doctor. Breakfast of champions, eh, boy? <laughs> doctor? Them people don't know shit. They's all just looking to screw hard-working folks like you and me out of our dough. College-educated bastard. Jeez, that burns my ass. I mean, just one. Oh! <laughs> Yoinks! That's it. The Spencers are getting the fuck out of this country. But we ain't got no money. You leave that up to me. You done it, Poisey. All that money. That ain't important. All that matters is we's here. And loaded free booze. My God, it was like a fucking dream. If heaven's halfway as good as voice glass, kill me now. Sir, you'll have to extinguish that cigarette. This is a non-smoking flight. <laughs> what is they gonna do? Throw me off the plane? Loser. Freeze! It was the boy, I swear. Is that true, little man? Kevin told the guard he hadn't done anything wrong. But if they were looking for the fat, obnoxious drunk who was stealing from the liquor cart, slapping the stewardess on the can, and smoking during the flight, then it was his old man they were after. You think? I ain't gonna forget this boy. Then Kevin told the man with the gun that Percy had stolen all his money that he was going to give to an orphanage right before they got off the plane. Ah! <laughs> 
Here you go, you great, noble humanitarian. Kevin thanked the guard for getting his cash. Then he asked him why he and the others spoke perfect English, even though they all lived in Chile. Um, uh, well, look, kid, we're kind of busy here. Scram! Looks like it's just you and me, boy, and all that sweet, sweet cash. What you thinking about, boy? You little prick, you get back here this instant! Hey, Pacho, you know the rules about making weapons. Give me the sharp stick. Lousy screw. Hey, have you been talking to my wife? <laughs> it's funny because I'm I'm not good at fucking. Whoa, tough room. That's a smart idea. I gotta remember to floss more myself. Who are you? Percy B. Spencer. Who are you? Why are you here? Just because I smoked on a plane and accidentally bumped into the stewardess with my crotch a couple of times. Okay, seven. But I was pretty loaded and we was up real high so I don't think my brain was getting as much oxygen as it needed. And then my kid. And let me tell you, that little asshole is a real piece of fucking work. Little shit sets me up. Lies, lies, lies. I swear to God, if I ever get my hands on that little... Oh! It occurs to me that you may be a very stupid man. You don't know the half of it, pal. You may prove to be useful yet. It's bad change. It's bad change, hey? Help a lady out. It's bad change. Stranded to arrest. Spare change. Fuck all of you, you hear me? Each and every last one of you bastards can go straight to hell. To hell. To hell. Oh well, that's just fucking perfect. How much? Come again? Do you know? How much for you? Leave me alone, freak. Come on, how much? Fine, maybe this will get rid of you. A bonus for a thousand. Oh, deal. Hop in. Holy shit. A thousand bucks. What an idiot. You just gotta spring for the room, too. Something classy for the wet bar and its own shit up. Well, that's that then, Kevin. I'm proud of you for finally sticking up to your parents and heading off on your own. And I might add that your timing was impeccable. Yes, dearie. It's just you and me now, with our pockets stuffed full of cash, lost in the fucking jungle of Chile! Alan had been riding Kevin's ass for almost four hours, and he was getting pretty sick of it. So he told the bird if he didn't like it, then he could go find another head to live in. That's a problem in a nutshell, stupid. I can't. I'm part of your psyche. You and me, we stuck with each other. But this one's gonna stop to that soon. I guess it don't matter too much. 
Kevin told the bird that they wouldn't starve because he remembered seeing something called a salad once on TV. And it looked a whole lot like a plant. So as near as he could figure, all they had to do was eat some of the nearby plants and they'd be fine. Well then, how about you start eating already? The bird's getting dizzy. Because Kevin wasn't a classically trained botanist, he didn't realize that the plant he was eating was a Datura plant, which was highly hallucinogenic and caused severe confusion and a coma-like dream state that left the user utterly immobilized. The sad part was that even if he was a classically trained botanist, he still would have picked the same plant. Crikey, look at that! Those are cameras. Wild goats to you and me. Let's go in for a closer look. That was a nasty fall, but did you see those cameras run? Beautiful. They're one of God's most graceful creatures, but they are timid. Nothing scares them more than a full-grown Aussie with a great gut full of fosters. Hang on. What's this? Now here's something really rare. Boy, are we in for a treat. The teenage Caucasian alcoholic. They're almost never seen in these parts of Chile. Let's poke him in the head with a stick and see what happens. Gentlemen, I'd like you to meet my new cellmate, Percy Spencer. He's going to help us out with a little problem we have. How's it going, eh? Hey, you guys got any extra smoke? Pacho, is it wise to bring in another this late in the game? We have no choice. No, no. I know but this, this man. This new cellmate of yours. He is fat and stupid, no? And he is an outsider. He doesn't know the ways of our country. Shh! Keep your voice down. He speaks English. Look, don't sweat it, fellas. I've probably broken more laws than all you guys combined. Come with us, Mr. Spencer. There's something we have to show you. Hang on. The last time I was in the joint, some guy said that exact same thing to me, and I ended up... You know... Rest assured, Percy, even if my friends and I were the type of men to engage in such activities, we wouldn't choose you. You are too fat and ugly and unwashed. And don't forget it. How much for a room? 20,000 a night. What? For $20,000 I could buy this fucking dump? Yes, you could, but this is Chile, and it is 20,000 pesos a night. You see, 500 of our pesos equals only one of your Canadian dollars. So you see, our prices are the best deal in town. I hate to break it to you, pal, but I just gave away the best deal in town. What the fuck am I gonna do now? I ain't got enough money. My kid run off. My fat prick of a husband's in jail. I'm stranded. You gotta help me, mister! I am afraid there is nothing I can do. Now please, if you do not possess the means to stay at our fine establishment, then go. Cocksucker! No! Here. Thanks, I was just gonna take a few travelers, too. My name is Merv. You don't look like no wife. My mother was a huge fan of the old Merv Griffin show. I don't mean to be presumptuous, but I overheard your dilemma back there. I'd like to help out. Okay, but I'm charging 5,000 pesos now. Oh, no, no, no. That's not it. I was thinking we could help each other out. I can provide you with financial assistance. And in turn, you can put me in contact with your husband. I overheard he was in jail, and as it happens, 
I need a favor from someone currently incarcerated. Think of it as a business partnership. So she's not just feeding me some cheap song and dance so you can try and get me in a sack? I swear to you, my intentions are purely honorable. No deal then. You throw in some great A boot knocking, you'll do. And maybe some buddies of yours. Don't matter too much, and I'll talk to my husband. Otherwise, leave the smokes and piss off. Ah. Uh, okay. I'll ask around, <laughs> see what I can do. Kevin was still drilled on Datura and had been hallucinating for several days. Normally the effects didn't last that long, which annoyed Kevin because he kept having to eat more. <laughs> Look at me, Kevin! I'm Tarvin! Help me, Kevin! I got a monkey on my back! Then Kevin felt tired, so he slipped into a drug-induced coma and collapsed to the ground. Look! My god! The legend is true! I'm rich! Rich beyond my wildest dreams! Man, I can't believe you agreed to this shit! What? These outfits, they're degrading and demeaning. It reeks of the ingrained racism entrenched in all nations whose history is rife with colonization. Look, we needed the money, and I didn't see you getting off your ass looking for work. I'm trying to pay off my education, thank you very much. A BA in fine arts, wow, the upper echelon of academia. You bitch! Shh, here he comes. Quick, act native. A hunt more successful than my wildest dreams could have envisaged. Take me home, my good men. I have an appointment with history. The tunnel is accessible through the floor of the confessional. Check. The guards allow us 30 minutes a day to honor our god. Check. We need you to go first. Why me? That way you can check if the coast is clear. See, they won't shoot you because you're new here. If you get caught, all you have to do is play dumb and say you didn't know it was against the rules to dig a tunnel. If we tried that, then they'd just shoot us on the spot because we've been here so long, there's no way we wouldn't know about the tunnel rule. Well, that makes sense. Okay, I'll do it. You're a good man, Percy. Thanks. You guys are all right. Well, we're all going to stay a while and pray, Percy. Why don't you head back to your cell? I left a bottle of liquor under your pillow as a welcoming present. Can he really be that stupid? Well, that scratched the itch. Now let's get down to business. I need you to get a hold of your husband. Some former co-workers of mine are serving time in the same prison. They are planning an escape. What, and they short one fat drunk to pull it off? No. I need one fat drunk to make sure they never get out. I wish to double-cross them and keep the money we stole together for myself. Here's how it has to go down. First, he must talk to the board. Give me the phone, I'll do it! Call this number. Hello, Boise? It's me! Those bastards! Tell Merv I'll do it if he buys you and me a plane ticket home. And gives the... 100,000 pesos. That's only like a hundred bucks Canadian. I know. <coughs> hey, 
Percy should be on his way by now. Here's your plane tickets and the money. As soon as your husband appears, we go. I'll drop you off a few miles down the road. Another driver will pick you up and take you to the airport. Hey, you just want to have a go while we're waiting? No. Excuse me. $85? What a fucking gift! I told you you should ask for more! Hey, look at the boy! Oh yeah, I was wondering what happened to him. Experts can't say for sure how long the boy was in the jungle, but given his severely stunted social skills and his overwhelmingly primitive understanding of manners and hygiene, they estimate that he may well have been raised by apes since infancy. So far, he appears to be completely mute. However, we feel that with an intensive training regime and moderate electroshock therapy, we can train him to a sufficient level that I will be able to put him on display at freak shows and carnivals all around the world. Something's <laughs> 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 wrong with that kid. Better not cross the path. Well, let's see. I'm a Sagittarius. I like drinking. 